Well, good morning, guys. So see all the poop on the floor? This is why there's poop on the floor. Let's see if I can stabilize this a little bit. That. That. It's either a crow or... My husband says it's a crow. So, anyway. I was driving home the other day from grocery store. And I found... I was driving down the road. And I saw it in the middle of the road. Not like in the road where the cars drive, but like right along the dotted yellow line in the middle of the road. And I, of course, slowed down because it always makes me feel bad when I see birds get hit. And it was like on its side and it literally turns its head and looked at me. Oh, shit. I couldn't leave it. I thought the least I could do was, you know, take it out of the middle of the road so it didn't get squished again. So I whipped the car around, put on my flashers, got out, uh, went out in the road, and it was dazed, really, really dazed. And um, so I um, gingerly like picked it up. You're not know, supposed to pick up wild animals. I tell my kids all the time not to pick up wild animals, and then I don't follow the same rules. So I picked it up, and I uh, checked it. Its so legs weren't broken. Um, its wings weren't broken, but it was completely dazed. So I thought, well, maybe it's just got a concussion and it'll get better. And I'll just, I'll take it home. And so it doesn't get hit by a car. And then I'll, you know, I'll just set it in the barn. And so I put it in here and um, well, on the way home, he couldn't like, I'm calling it a he, I don't know what it is. Uh, he couldn't sit up straight in the passenger seat. So I put him in my lap and I had him in my hand and he wrapped his, like his like claws around my finger. And I knew I was in trouble then. And um still really dazed, you could see by his eye, uh, that he just wasn't, you know, really thinking a lot. And about halfway home I happened to look down, and now he's not dazed in the eye, and he's literally got his head cocked up and he's looking at me. And all I could look at was this big huge beak, and I'm thinking, oh sugar foot. I don't want him to peck me. I've been pecked by a chicken and it drew blood. And their beak is a lot smaller than his beak. And he's meant to peck like meat off bones and stuff. They're, they're carrying scavengers. Anyway, so I called my husband. So you're going to have to come and open the car door for me. Now he's mad at me because he's like, well, you can't be picking up. You got to stop trying to save everything. He's like, it's got a broken wing and a broken leg. It's not going to live. I'm like, I don't think they're broken. Well, you're not a vet. Anyway. So, um, I tried to set him loose, but he was still super wobbly and he couldn't walk right. So I picked him up again, carried him out here, and I put him in the office because I don't want the cat to get him because Marcel's my hunter and I don't want the cat to eat him. You know, that's not fair to him. It would be like bringing home a wild rabbit for him. So anyway, now he's been in here. It is like day four. Um, we've been rat trapping rats and mice. And literally, I trap them, and when they, they die, then I give them to him, and he's been eating them. So he's eating. Now I'm out of rats and mice. <clears throat> so what he's eating is, I looked it up, um, dry cat food, dry dog food, um, and raw hamburger, and then water is what he's got. <clears throat> he is getting around a lot better, but he's still kind of wobbly on one side. So... I'm not sure what his prognosis is. I know you can't keep pet crows in a cage. I'm hoping that he'll be able to fly soon and he can leave. And if he can't, um, I will have to get a hold of a wildlife rehabilitator because then I would have to figure out what I'd need to do. I, I don't want him in a cage. And I think he's going to be fine. I think it's just a matter of time for him to get better. And, I mean, it's only been like three days. If you got buffeted and knocked around by a semi-truck, it'd take more than three days for you to be back to normal. So I'm going to give him a week. And here's why I can't leave him loose. You see that? He knows it's in here. He's like, that's a whole meal, Mom. You cannot have it. He wants milk, though. He already had milk from inside the house. So, um... Yeah, I have not named him. I do not plan on keeping him. He's very cute, though. I, I think he's adorable. I like the idea of having 
you know, of saving wild animal. Although when he hides back there in the corners when it's dark, it's hard to see him. But he is, see how messy it's made? he's made it in here? That's all right. It'll clean. Just add to my list of things to do. I didn't need a raven or a crow. But he looked me in the eye. I couldn't leave him in the middle of the road to die. I had to at least say that I tried. So we'll see. But he's eating. He's drinking. He's obviously pooping. So everything's going through his system. It's working just fine. I really think he has a concussion because he ate the first day and then he like threw it up. And I'm, you know, I'm like, oh, maybe he has a concussion because, you know, when you get concussions, you tend to throw up. Now he's eaten since and he hasn't thrown up anything. So you're not coming in, Marcel. So anyway, that's another reason why you haven't had a video recently. I've been busy with this. And then I got to do one about Cardamon getting stuck and having to hacksaw a metal pipe to get him out. And then we had to re-fence some more stuff. Plus, I've still been setting up my classrooms. <laughs> and I've been trying to clean out the freezer and can food. So it's been super busy here. And I could be taking videos of it, but I don't know if you want videos of me canning food. That's It is part of homesteading. But So there you go. There's one of the things I've like tied my hands up with. But if I wouldn't have looked him in the eye, I probably could have just drove home. But once he looked me in the eye, I couldn't couldn't do it. It's not in me. Could not do it. All right, guys, you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.